Mr. Roke is back with another tutorial for Pixlr. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, open up Pixlr. Get to that. You can, again, pause. You know you can use a pause button on this. Uh, hopefully you know how to do that. <clears throat> Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be getting two different images this picture All right in class. I used this one and before I use this one, but we're using this one right now. We're gonna open that one up All right and Then we are gonna open up another one and that other one will be a lion or in this case a lioness's mouth All Right we're gonna combine these two images as we've done before, or as you want to do, yes, my co-pilot and co-anchor, Sebastian. Okay, he's eating. Anyway. Daddy. Yes. Oh my gosh, you're like a monster too. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to create a monster tomato. Right? And the first thing we need for this monster tomato is not to worry about the actual tomato. But to go over here and get the tomato's monster mouth. We're going to be putting this face, at least this mouth, onto... Oh, lightning. Nice. Onto this tomato. Right? So we're going to go to edit. You're going to... You can copy or cut. It's up to you entirely. I prefer to copy right now. And we're done with you. We don't need you anymore. We use what we need of you. And you're gonna put edit and paste. All right. So notice that is fine. That means this tomato is giant and this is much smaller. Okay. So you can either have it facing one way or the other. I prefer kind of facing that way, but that's just me. Flip around like that, <clears throat> and we're gonna do this to it. So the mouth is kind of shooting like this to make it. Slightly bigger. Uh, let's try to keep it kind of. All right, and we're gonna go. Okay, let's go. Ahead and press Enter. Right, that was from Edit Free Transform, and you can press Enter. You move it out here. Now, what you want to do is change the opacity. So what I did was I clicked on the layer, then clicked here, which is my layer settings. From here, I can switch the opacity level, which we've seen before, right? And in this case, we'll use again, right? Now, we don't, what we're looking for is not that this kind of is the same size, but so that it kind of makes sense to us, right? <clears throat> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this lasso tool. I suggest you go really deep in, okay? Hold down your spacebar so that this little hand comes out to move it around. Or if you wanted to, you can move it around up here from the navigator. And if for some reason you don't have the navigator on your screen like I do, and you're like, where is that? Go down to the view menu, click on navigator, and there it is. Right? Click on layers, and there they are. Click on history, and there it is, and that's it, right? Tool options. Okay, so then we're going to go to edit. Let's go copy. And we're going to go edit, then paste. We have another set of teeth. Alright. Now we're gonna turn off this and it looks like a giant mess, right? You're like, oi, that looks horrible, Mr. Roke. Oh, we're not done. Let's first of all transform the crazy thing. Right? So it's a little bigger. Alright, move it in a bit. Okay. And we're saying okay to that. We're going to press enter. Now we're going in so that you notice how pixelated it is. We're going 
going in so that then we can erase some of these portions and blend it in a little better, right? So we're going to use the eraser tool. Awesome. There you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, I think it could probably raise a little more. Okay, so it's a little rounder. Okay, there we go. And let me just go right here. These are just nitpicky things. So, you know, to tell the truth, it's up to you. You can change it as much as you want. Now, the reason I picked this one specifically is because of this background right here, right? Um, you want, we're going to be using the clone stamp, at least for this one. Um, other ones that have just a white background, you can cut out that white background and uh, replace it. I'll show you that later. But for right now, I want to kind of challenge myself in this. So, so I'm going to be crazy. So let's do that. Let me pick which one you're at. Down. how small it is um, I don't know if you noticed I had to restart this part of it because there was nothing of this up here so if you have to do it as I said it's a free program and it will get its own glitches but it doesn't mean you can't have workarounds so let's make this bigger so that it's got a bigger section to copy and we don't have to really get into something too small, but not so big where it's too much, right? Okay, and let's hold down the command key or control key if you're on a PC. I'm not, I am on a Mac. And let's do one last thing. Let's remove that now. I'll go forward. Okay, we still have to take out this part. I just wanted to make it move it forward so that it's exaggerated when we actually do what we're supposed to be doing to it. So let's click on that clone stamp. <clears throat> Hold down the command key if you're on a Mac or the control key if you're on a PC and click on the area so that it and make sure you're on the right area. Now click on it again. You just erase. Don't worry. If you're if you see a line that goes straight, don't start shooting off. Click on that line and allow it to go through. Right? In fact can just paint right just kind of straight because everything that's on this table is shooting off this way right the boards and everything are shooting out this way so your eye won't think that it's too crazy or at least look at it as too crazy if everything every brush stroke that you're making digital I know this yes but uh, nonetheless, all right. Okay, Oops. a little much. <clears throat> all right, 
So then what you're gonna do is you are going to also select the tomato, right? Uh, that didn't do it. Let's click off it and use this thing, right? So you're going to select that tomato. that you want to select another piece is because if I move this the background is going to move with it as well you don't want that <clears throat> we want this area to fit on top of this so we're going to go down to edit we're going to free distort and we're going to oops, completely forgot that so let's go back okay so we have this area selected what we want to do then is we want to create another kind of copy of this layer or another copy of this part. So we're going to go to edit, copy, edit, and paste. Right? It will create this copy of it. So then, then you need to just fit it onto the same spot. There we go. It will say, why, Mr. Roking? Then I will tell you, try to do a pretty good job. And I'll tell you, you are gonna make, because the way it is now, the way teeth are and lips are, you want that part to kind of extend over this, right? So we're gonna be working with this layer. You're gonna go to edit, again, which is that. And edit, move to this layer. We're gonna go to edit. <clears throat> Free distort, not free transform, free distort, which allows you then to distort that part. Okay. This, this sort of thing. doesn't look terrible we need to fix these parts right here the way to fix those is literally by just erasing them okay so they kind of start blending in a bit Exaggerated look at least. Right? But there we go. This is a tomato with teeth, my son. <laughs> Thank you. Right? So it's a tomato with teeth. <clears throat> I know, right? 
as one hungry tomato. Um, and you can, if you want it, if you're like, that is, it's moved too far out. Okay, okay so that's not too bad. All right, can I do it better? Sure. But that's not bad. And that's it. Last bit. What we're gonna do? Whoops. What's that? Go to filter. Can we make it look a little better? Go to filter. Go to vignette. And you can add. Whoops. The wrong place. Click on the background layer. Go to filter. Then I'll try to get vignette, right? It's gonna give us these dark areas around here, right? And you can kind of fade it out a bit so that the focus, the eyes are drawn here, right? So you can say okay, right? Let's go to filter. Let's, you can also go and give it a night vision look. Oh, except for, ah, it's mouth, right? What you want to do then is you want to then merge the images that are there. So layer, okay. To then flatten the image, and now we can adjust the night vision if you wanted to. So it looks like some kind of horrible thing is here. Light on. Light on. Light on. Right, yeah. it's brighter. Light on. Light. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. Noise, less noise, a little bit of noise, so it's got that, like it was being, like it was taken at night, right? <clears throat> mm, we'll leave it at that. Ooh. No, we'll leave it at that. Right? Then there we go. There's your night vision. You took a picture of the vegetables at night and they grow teeth, and then they're gonna eat a banana, right? Okay, so there we go. Alright, enjoy, go crazy, go bananas, ah, huh? because eating bananas. Anyway, and have fun. Right, Sebastian? Hmm? Is Mimi's time? Guess it's Mimi's time. Alright, good night.